Drugs are fucking fun, pal. Factor that fucking in. To your drug of fucking fence of type. Health fucking warning. There ain't a lot that's fun, pal. Old age and school and dreams of a life that will never be. Sexless nights, wasted schemes. Your horizon still receding. Speeding home. That's fruitless, some cliff and skidding, then descent to twisted rest. For the last show, Every Rose Has Its Thorn, which I actually like yes. the name of as well. I was like, oh yeah, name that I actually understand and makes sense. I was like, oh great. Because I remember we were speaking about the last one. And uh, no, I thought that that show, was, obviously I wasn't there, but I thought that that show was excellent. And um, it's probably, the way your shows have ramped up have gotten better and better and better. And I think that was probably yeah. the, the best show that you guys have done. Um, certainly oh. with like, the last uh, four matches, anyway. like Well, more the deathmatch stuff, because it's deathmatch involved. But um, yeah. fucking, just for the, the BA Rose and uh, Alton Thorn match, that was fucking excellent. I really, really fucking enjoyed yeah. that. I mean, it was obviously going to be good, but it was. I'm, I'm just surprised it, it sort of took Bielo, uh, Bielo so long to sort of get into Kumite. But I mean, he's he's everywhere now. Yeah, well, he's been on the it, it's been on the cards for a while. That's the thing about this this season. We've um, put a lot more planning into it. I mean, last year because of the whole situation we had at the start of the year with the police ourselves yeah. in Nottingham and whatnot, uh, we were basically doing shows on the bounce it was like we'd done the first one and it was like right that's gone fine um everything was fine do the next one that was fine then yeah. so we only did ended up doing three last year uh whereas this year we sort of planned everything out booked all the dates in advance um it's very easy uh, because joe and lou and everyone get all their like xpw dates all in one go yeah so it's just like work around everybody else and then see what rise are doing and what tnt are doing and sort of fit it fit it around and then sort of, um, you know, we, 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 we did it all in one go. And we've also sort of written it all in one go um, yeah. as well. And we put a bit more... We've got um, somebody else on board w- with me and Fletch on the management side now Okay, as well. that's cool, that's cool. Like, uh, writing stuff. Um, and it's made a world of difference already um, from that first the, the first show of this year, like you say. I think it's just the simple thing. If we've just added um, villains to it. Because it's um, it, with, with a lot of indie wrestling, there's a lot of, especially with deathmatch wrestling, there isn't really any goodies and baddies, if you like. It's um, just people so just want to see people bleed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of sort of people who look the same and do the same sort of thing. Um, so with especially with the first part of the show, obviously before that, and literally for the first show, that was a decoy show so that we could get away with doing the kumite in the second half. <laughs> and then it's obviously it's grown as part of the, the, the actual um, product, if you like, Yeah. Uh, now. So we've, we're concentrating on that. We've got somebody else who does the first half and me and Fletch do the second half. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's got... Um, I mean, having like people like Jason Joshua um, is like amazing because it just gives something pe- people to boo straight from the get-go, you know what I mean? Mm. It's... At the end of the day, it's still wrestling, and it's still like you've got to make it as fun as possible. I think it it, it can't all be obviously unless it's a death match tournament. The death match shows can't just all be death matches because it's just like white noise. It's yeah. it's That's, you lose the effect after a while. I've, I've said that yeah. to some people. I mean, I do love ICW and Old Bard, um, but almost ninety five percent of their matches are light tube bundles and doors. Every single match yeah, is the same, yeah. and you're yeah, like. Yes, how do you make so stuff like unless obviously the wrestlers are different, but almost every single match is the same formula: tubes, doors, tubes, doors, tubes, doors. And after if you watch like three shows in a row, and they're all in the same building, it just melds into your head, and you're like, "What the fuck even happened at the last show?" You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, so you've got yeah, you've got to split I mean, it up. That's that's also that, that's totally it. And also with what we've tried to do with the death match is also last year and what we've got planned for this year as well. Each one of them has been a gimmick match, pretty much. Yeah. So. Um, I like the idea of that. Make it like, make it a little bit different because, like you say, it can't be all the same. It can't be the same all the time, sort of yeah. thing. Obviously, we're going to get to a point where we've we've done sort of as much as we can do. Um, but but yeah, yeah, keep it changing. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's good, and it, it it's like it's like the old thing. It's 
there's there's bits of the show that people aren't going to enjoy, but they're going to enjoy the comedy elements or the actual proper wrestling elements, if you like, yeah. more than they are the deathmatch side of things. So there's just a bit of stuff for everyone. Yeah. And especially with um, how Kumite's gone and, and how, like, last season went and then straight jumped straight back in, like, the best-selling show we've had so far. Um, it was definitely packed. I saw the vine. It was definitely yeah, packed. Yeah, yeah, it was packed. Um, it's just got that um, sort of festively vibe to it and it sort of you know so we we want to make it more of a whole day and and every something a bit for everyone do you know what i mean yeah so uh, yeah it's good it's good i really enjoyed that so i'm really glad you you, you like the first one but yeah, uh, um i like when we've you, got some... you're calling it a season as well which i quite like that you're calling it because i think that's what it's completely different but that's what chikara used to do Every single yeah. year was a season, and it was like they all it was one circular thing, and then it led into the next season. It was totally different type thing. I like that. Yeah, that's that's kind of how we're treating it. I mean, at the moment we've got four dates that are, that are definite. The four dates that we've got at Vines Bar, mm. uh, but we're looking to do something else um, at another venue towards the end of the year, but indoors, but not necessarily death match related. Okay. Um, okay. But just just something else, just something a bit different. Um, which I'll tell you about if we're gonna, actually going to do it, but I won't say it now in case <laughs> it fine. doesn't happen. That's fine. Well, I mean, um, there's there's a lot of shit happening in the UK, and my wallet's feeling ever so slightly yeah, empty. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Well, that's why we spaced it all out. I oh, went through the when we went through God. the dates with the guy at the venue. It was just like right, but then some some weeks it's like literally the summer. That I mean, I said it at the last show. There's like compared to last year. Any genre of wrestling, really. There's the shows on every weekend, and there's a couple of shows every day somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's um, they're, and there's they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. So I mean, once like the the, the summer gets properly started, I mean, there's it, it, it's like us. Then it's Rise. Then it's TNT on the next weekend, and then it's us like yeah. all like we're on the same weekend as North and TNT. So there's like there's stuff going on everywhere. Um, and the thing is, uh, at most of those shows, it's the same people that goes to them. So they're just going to be going up and down the country. <laughs> just for, stay for in a England for a little while. I mean, as as well for me, like some of my mates are into like non death match because they're cunts. But they we are we are away to Money in the Bank. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not looking forward to that. One of my mates has never been to London before, and he's like, "Yeah, he's, right. like, he's like, we'll go on a pub crawl for two days." And you're like, "Fuck you, you go yourself." Then I'll not be doing that. Oh, I think the amount of money I mean, and then AEW is going to be at fucking Wembley as well. Yeah. So well, like, that's it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm nuts. saying. I mean, are, are you going to? Well, my mate is actually at the um, WWE house shows tonight in uh, Birmingham. He got tickets for his birthday. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's gone to that. Um, so yeah, they're doing that again. And, like that. That used to be on the regular, like twice yeah. a year before COVID and stuff. Like the I, house I shows... said before, I t- took my daughter to it like about yeah. ten. Years oh yeah, ago. yeah. I remember you said yeah. It's the house shows and stuff are fine, but like for these big pay per views and things, like that Wembley AW thing, it's like I don't really want to go. But the only thing is, is I know for a fact, every single fucking indie around and about London will all be running that same weekend to try and yeah. gouge as much yeah. money out of the fans as humanly possible. Which is a good thing, but it's just there's so much, there's so much fucking wrestling. It's also a bank holiday weekend as well, I think, isn't it? So it's like a long weekend. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, well, that's it. It, it. it doesn't matter what it is. There's wrestling everywhere. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's great. That's great. I mean, did you go... Did you, you went to that Cardiff thing last year, didn't you? Yeah, that was... I was very, very drunk. I enjoyed the second day better when we went and saw AEW live in a bar and I got chucked out because I was arguing with somebody that said Nick Gage wasn't a real wrestler but that, bear in mind this, this was about 5 o'clock in the morning and I'd been drinking from about 11 in the morning so I, I was a little right. bit drunk and I remember meeting Tony Knox in a fucking kebab shop at like 5 o'clock in the morning but yeah the ca- class at the castle was good but it was just like yeah. there was like big posters and all that shit but yeah it's, it is very very good to see like all the wrestling fans out and about but it just it, that things like that sounds bad Things like that take away my money from going to the deathmatch shows. Yeah, I'd rather I know keep what you're my saying. money for. I, know what you're I mean, it's a totally different. It's just like a spectacle of a thing, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I didn't go to the Cardiff thing, and loads of basically everybody else that I know mm-hmm. went apart from me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. And then on the day, I think I said to you before, it's just yeah. like oh, I really wish that I'd gone because everybody just like. Um, like Alton Thorne and everyone went at the last minute and they had tickets right at the back and they were just drinking all day. Yeah. 
and they, they just had a, a real laugh there sort of thing so i don't know i mean i've never been to i've been to loads and loads of um wwf house shows back in the day and yeah. i've been to like one in the past sort of like 10 10 years um but yeah it's yeah it's wrestling isn't it's it? just go, much, go it's much of a much yeah. it's just <laughs> But because you're there live and everybody's drinking and it's like a bit, it's meant to be a big UK showcase thing. But then at the end of the day, I'm like, I'd rather spend time in fucking the Vines Beer Garden. In all honesty, and I'd save myself a fuck lot of money. But um, yeah, was... I've never been been to a televised one like the Cardiff one or like um, when I was a kid, they did SummerSlam at Wembley as well. So I, and yeah. I, I didn't get to go to that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it would. It's, I'm I'm kind of interested to go, but then at the same time, I don't really care. We'll not be able to see <laughs> anything. I'll be fine. It's one of these things that you'll look back on in like 70 years and go, ah, yeah, I was there, great, whatever. Like, I, I don't know, I don't really care that much. But then, uh, what was yeah. I going to say? That main event for the Rose, Every Rose Has Its Thorn as well, with Lou against Joe was fucking great too. That's why I liked all the fucking tubes yeah. round the ring with the doors and everything. That was, that was fucking, that was a really, really good match. And obviously with the big, the sword and something, something getting his comeuppance against Lou and everything. I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a great match. I mean, the both of them, they're, they're, again, mates of mine, mates of ours, and they're both absolutely killing it at the minute, especially with it, like, over in America. Just got back from that fucking crazy deathmatch tournament at the yeah. weekend at XPW. <laughs> I, I watched <laughs> that all was that. wild. I watched all that live. Did you watch that live as well? Uh, I watched it live up to Joe getting knocked out, yeah. um, and then... I texted him in the morning to see how I got, say that I'd watch it to that point. And yeah. I said, oh, the fucking show was wild. By that point, I didn't know what else had gone on. And he just texted me back and said, it just get, it gets worse, as in, like, it just, like, kicked off. And then I, I saw yeah. the uh, the accident and all that. And, uh, yeah, that, was that, like, that wasn't good. I, I saw a lot of people online, right, and a lot of people don't like that company anyway. Well, it's all the people online saying they're like, oh, what a fucking idiot. Why did he do that? But he was like, obviously, he, he burnt his beard. And then he went to put it out, and then obviously he's put lighter fluid. But I think if, yeah. if if your face is on fire, you're maybe not thinking clearly. You know no, what I mean? No, <laughs> I mean it's clearly an accident. It's yeah, not exactly. like a spot. It's not like he did it on purpose. No, exactly. I mean, it's something he's, he's done loads and loads of times before, but it's just like it's just an accident. It just uh, exactly. it just happened to be a really horrible one that yeah. was live on the telly. It was so yeah. It's so, a long, long show. But then I think Lou and Joe obviously were two guys that work for yourself. And Joe's obviously yeah. a champion, but to get to see him in America killing it's amazing. Um, oh, it's it's great. I mean, really, I'm intensely proud of him. Um, and Darko as well. Yes, as I mentioned Darko. Yeah, it, it's great. It really is. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. I mean, you. the whole point of, like, is getting, like, when we first started Kumite and stuff was having people like Joe to lift people up or have people like Lou fight the somebody that was coming over do you know what i mean from america yeah. but now they're at the level where they're elevating the other people in the company now do you know what i mean yeah exactly um so yeah it's great it's it's amazing to see and the same with um like our boys that are ended up doing like the tnt shows and stuff like Antonio I, was gonna bring that up. I was gonna bring that up because I, w- I was there for that and i was i wrote that down because there was after Alton Thorne against Clint, which was one of my favourite matches of the night, because obviously a fucking massive fan of Alton Thorne, um, when fucking yeah. Clint gets the mic and he puts over Kumite, and uh, I... Yeah, I've not, I've not seen that. You've not seen that? Yeah. But like, no, but from my yeah. vantage point, I'm up on the balcony beside the death match out was, and re- my viewpoint where Clint is right behind him is Fletch and Pat. And when you hear him mention Kumite, just you see Fletch going mentally so happy, but I, I, I enjoyed that. It was a nice yeah. moment. But, yeah, cool. I need, yeah, I need to watch it back. But yeah, that that show, obviously, yeah, it had, it had Tomby, Old yep. Thorn, and Antonio on it, and obviously Joe as well, mm. and Clint. They were like, they were all Kumite guys, but especially with like, particularly Old Thorn, Antonio, and and Tomby, like you know, they're they're our guys. They're not our guys, you know. They work everywhere. The fact that they are working everywhere is great, I but s- it's just. I said this to somebody I love- else. I think I can't remember who I said that to. But I think it's like Tombe, Gonzalez, Thorne are sort of seen as Kumite's guys. Clint's seen as a TNT guy. And then I would yeah. say like Joe and Lou and things are more or less seen as sort of right. But obviously they're not. They all work for everybody. But yeah, it's like the yeah, sort of yeah. thing. From a sort of like fan's perspective, they sort of see them as sort of separate, but they're not. But mm, Yeah. Because it's all the same people that work at the same place. 
Yeah. Places. <laughs> it's the same people that go but, and see yeah. everything. Sorry? It's the same people that go and see all the same shows. It's the same guys that go to all the shows anyway. So Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, but yeah, to see those guys doing well, and like Alton Thorne's bit late, last weekend is like everywhere. He's absolutely yeah. everywhere. He's on family shows and doing, doing um, you know, he started a feud with uh, Kingsley, Carl Kingsley as well, and they've, they've had their first match of that. Um, I think he actually injured Kingsley's foot during it, and that's why he wasn't on the Kumite show. I think he... But, um, is he not wrestling yeah. the big guy from Money Mountain? Has that happened yet? I saw a poster for that. Oh, that was, that, last was that last yeah, weekend? Yeah, that was... I didn't the, see any yeah, cuts it was on from Saturday. It. He's fucking huge. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's ludicrously <laughs> big. Yeah, like, it's not just a clever name. Like, he's the Greek giant, and he's Money Mountain, and he's yeah. the fucking... He is... An absolute mountain. I did yeah. enjoy those two guys like against uh, Act Two because I think obviously Act Two are pretty much at every Kumite show. They're like, yeah, yeah. I, I think I said that in the review I did about they're like the little high flying baby faces against the big heels, and the, the guys they're totally. against are always excellent because I'd never seen either of the guys in Money Mountain before Kumite either. Um, yeah. They're both very well, good. Uh, yeah, that's it. Well, that's it. Bring new people in and bring in villains. That's what we're yeah. doing. Exactly. Um, uh, Act Two again. Another. Uh, I've known them. I know they're still kids, but I've no, literally known them since they were kids, since they first started training um, with a friend of mine. Um, in uh, yeah, years, fucking years ago, and it's just great to see them everywhere as well. But they're on every every type of show you can imagine. But you can pretty much go to any British wrestling show any weekend, and they're probably on it. Good. So, it's you know, good for them to it, get that And it's great. Yeah. They're, 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 they're amazing they're amazing guys, um, you know, and they really have, like, paid their dues over the years, you mm. know, doing ring crew for, for, for everyone. And, yeah. uh, again, it's great to see. It's just good to see people that you know doing well. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. In any, in any sort of facet as well. But I was, I was going to say as well for... So, for that was, like, the first show of the season... Uh, and I will say this, I don't know if anybody else notices pointless things like this. I like the little Kaleidoscope logo. Now, the right. little Kumite, yeah. Kumite, I don't know, no one else would probably even notice that. I, I actually like that. And I like their different colours for the different shows and the things. But I do I do like the sort of variation of like the Kumite logo. It's basically the same. Yeah, we, well, we've got a new graphics guy this, this year. Um, ah, okay, before okay. we had, yeah, we had um, a friend of mine before uh, who was doing all the other stuff, uh, Luke Burton. He's still doing stuff. Um, but he was very he's he's very busy with the university and he's got uh, he's got a couple of kids oh, okay, and yeah, uh, yeah. usual sort of thing and I'm quite sort of when I got ideas for stuff I'll just like text <laughs> in the middle of the night and um, ex not expect it to be done but you know what I mean <laughs> um, and then another friend of mine who I knew through uh, through wrestling from from him coming to see me years ago uh, just happened to be he's he's you know. He's, he doesn't do what I like is that he'd never done wrestling graphics so that's that why helps. I like like his stuff because he's not coming at it from I mean Luke, Luke's wrestling graphics are amazing they're great but I like the idea of somebody coming from it who's never done a wrestling that's half the half the t-shirts that I like the wrestling t-shirts don't look like wrestling t-shirts they look like band t-shirts yeah. Exactly, exactly, that's it. So, like, we like making the posters look like gigs. So I basically, we just say, like, this is the colour scheme. Go, just do what you want. This is yeah. what we, this is what you want, you want you to do, sort of thing. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Then for the and next... his name, by the way, so yeah. I forgot to say it, <laughs> is Tom Porter, if anybody okay, wants okay. any graphics done. I mean, I may, I, may even, I may even look at that myself. Fucking hell, to yeah. be honest. I, I mean, I'm sure you may have said that to me before. What was I going to say? But for the next show... I don't know if you're going to leak me the name, but does the next show have a name, or is that is that still in the ether? Uh, the name, <laughs> I think, it's going to be one of the last dance with death because that's, okay, okay, um, for the poster, okay, fair enough, yeah, fair enough, fair yeah, enough. I think so, I think so. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. to check for that, because that, because I mean, Darko's been in America. Obviously, Lou and Joe have been over for like XPW and stuff, and Lou's yeah. going back over for ICW and Olds Bar. But Darko's was there all Mania weekend. And he fucking yeah. bled like fuck, and uh, killed yeah, it every match he was in. And he cut a fucking really, really good promo for you guys outside the H2O building. It's probably one of my, I think it's probably the best promo Darko's ever done, where he's talking about yeah. everybody's just asking him about Joe and all that shit. Yeah, it was really fucking good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, this again, I'll say this season we're we're really trying to get a bit more TV about it. Um, so we, I don't know if you've seen the promos that we've done, like the the, the uh, 
early 2000s WWE, WWE style music. My, sac- like my Sacrifice. I saw that yeah. one before. Oh, we did that. Yeah, that was <laughs> last year, the My yeah, Sacrifice. I enjoyed thing, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's it's great, and obviously because we've been doing it for this is our this is our third year now. It's not like we haven't been doing it for three years. We did we did like we only did, we did three shows last year and two shows the year before that. This is our first year of like full shows, full year of show sort of thing. Yeah, um, I've totally forgotten what I was talking about. Oh, the just the uh, <laughs> the Darko fucking um, like promos oh, and yeah, yeah. TV, so TV stuff. Sorry, yeah. So we've got like loads of footage that we can go through now to make really good. Um, like videos which is which is great that's that was the difficult thing when you first start because you, you've only got so much footage but when you, we've got like six shows now yeah I think it's six shows that we've done five shows six shows i can't remember <laughs> i was trying to think yeah are, so, are you count, but, are you counting the first one as like a full show the, the one where the the, the death wolf first title uh yeah definitely so yeah definitely one, that was the first show two so, three I think you're at six. I think you've done six. Yes, yeah, we've done six. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Set my head right. right there. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. It's, uh, yeah, we've got some cool stuff planned. Um, I'm looking forward to that. And, and like with the last one as well, we'd like introducing some new people. Like you say, you get BA, BA Rose on there. So, yeah, for, for BA Rose. And I think that was when, when Thorn did that promo, which is also excellent. His promos are always good. And just yeah. so B.A. Rose is standing in that room and just goes, shh. I loved that. Yeah. I was like, that's fucking cool. I don't right, know how but... he's found a room that's so dark. I quite like that from a fucking bedroom to not have to wake up. But, like, that was great. And I was yeah. like, hell yeah, here we fucking go. Um, because, obviously, their styles are very, very similar. And obviously, we're probably going to get a rematch. Not the next show, but, like, we'll get a rematch, I assume, at some point in the future. Oh, yeah, them. I would uh, definitely, somewhere down the line. Yeah, yeah, not in the next one, um, but uh, it, it's definitely on the cards. Definitely. Like I say, they're, they're both sort of similar guys, and that's sort of how we did the match, really, is, uh, well, how they did the match. Mm. Was, it was a, 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 like a mirror match. It's like very sort of, very 80s, very WCW, <laughs> very the sort of thing that we do. So, yeah, it's, uh, it was... But yeah, it was, it, it was great, and like everybody, it's all, like, everybody knew who uh, B.A. Rose was, which is always good when you bring somebody new in. So everyone was excited. Everyone was genuinely excited for that match. Oh yeah, um, which is good. Which I, is good. I think that um, Dean from uh, Dean who did the TNT gimmicks, he did, he did the the garden thing for you guys. I think he's sending he did, yeah. me. He's sending me a bit of barbed wire with B Rose's hair on it in the post. Um, because oh, brilliant. Did did you? <laughs> oh, you wouldn't have seen that. Do you see any of that TNT show? It was B A Rose was against Cole Radricks. And BA does a jump into the ropes. The ropes are all covered in barbed wire. And it's almost like he nearly does the sort of like, you know, the Cactus Jack used to do the sort of hangman yeah, thing in the thing. But yeah. like, there's barbed wire and he basically just hangs and it ri- literally rips out like almost like a quarter of his fucking hair. Of hit. It was fucking horrible looking. But oh, I've managed to, no, I think I've he's, he's sending me some of his hair in the post. I was like, oh, all right, thanks. Thanks for that. Brilliant. I, <laughs> I mean, you did, by you, you, um, it's still in Pat's garage, but you have got a chair covered in the blood. Of That's the many, thing, is, it's ended up happening. Of the I know, I know. I'm still waiting to get, because the thing is, I don't think I'll be down for the May show, but I'll either be definitely down for July, um, and I'll 95% sure I'll be at the August one. Or is it June? Yeah. It's, it's July and August, isn't it? The next we, two ones after uh, that. July and August, yeah, yeah. We haven't got one in June this year. We're having a. We're having a we're not doing one. Oh, be, there's fucking eight thousand. There's eight thousand things on anyway. No, but I'll definitely definitely yeah. be at the July one, and then I'll hopefully be at that one. But for yeah, for the next one as well, for the the number one contenders match, eh, that's fucking mental. That's another thing that's like you've got so many guys there. I'm like, oh god. I don't know. I don't yeah, know well, who would want to win that though, as well. Like from a fan's perspective, I don't know who'd want to win because there's like, there's. Uh, Probably. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of like we've done it on purpose, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost, almost, <laughs> almost. I mean, uh, for me personally, I'd probably say I'd want Tomby to win that, but that's just my own personal yeah. preference because I think he's even not as so much uh, like Kumite as well. But that last thing he had at TNT, he fucking bled more than I've ever seen anybody oh. bleed, and it was be- it was beautiful, yeah. beautiful in a scary yeah. kind of way. But yeah, like, uh, but that yeah. match will definitely all four of those guys, like Lou, Clint. Antonio and everything, yeah, that'll be a fucking amazing death match. Yeah, again, it's because it's a, it's a gimmick match that we've not done. We've not done a fatal four way before, so it was like, I mean, 
I mean, look at that match. It's ludicrous. The people in that match. It's 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 a main event as well, mm. and it's yeah. It's it's a silly. It's going to be stupid, <laughs> <I'll look laughs> but in a, in a really good way. Yeah. Um, and the fact that nobody nobody's got a clue who they think you know nobody. It's a it's a hard one to pick a winner in it. I think everybody's got as much were... claim. I will say that for Antonio Gonzalez's uh, heelish nature at the last show, yeah. sweeping the tax and everything on Jack Bennett. How oh, dare! Yeah. How dare he! Jack Bennett's another guy who I've, I've met in person. Never got to see him. Uh, re- I saw him do some stuff in Japan for that yeah. die promotion, but I've met him in person several times now. And he's always been nothing but nice. But when I got to see him work, he was fucking excellent as well. Syringes and his noses and his hands and everything. Yeah. Great. He was great. Another guy that we brought in, like new, new blood, if you like. Yeah. Um, quite sort of similar to Antonio and sort of similar to Tyler Owens as well. Yeah. Um, in their sort of, you know, what they look like and how they how they wrestle. I mean, Antonio and and uh, Jack, they've been wrestling for years, doing family shows for years before that. As as is the, always the case with the deathmatch guys. Yeah. They, they, they're spending, you know, I mean, they're young guys, so they've been wrestling since they were kids, doing family shows and whatnot. So they know what they're fucking doing. Yep. Um, and Jack Bennett, he just, you know, he was great. He threw himself totally into it. And he's obviously because he'd been over and done those no ring shows uh, for Die in Japan. The real niche fans of Deathmatch knew exactly who he was, <laughs> yeah. which, is, which is great. So that's that's the uh, that's the cool thing I like. Um also, he was trained uh, by a friend of ours. Um, he's trained at uh, Fight Factory in Lincoln uh, by, by a guy called Dutch that we know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, and that, and that goes back. I used to work for those. I used to work for them uh, years ago. Okay. So, yeah, okay. it just sort of, again, goes back to the uh, everybody that we know sort I've of seen, thing coming I mean, into the company. I've, I've seen some stuff from that Fight Factory, but I think it's only because I've got Jack um, on Facebook. But I've seen they've got, like, yeah. do they have, like, a cage set up for the whole thing? No. They did. They did a cage. Yeah, they have actually got a cage because uh, yeah. they do a ring hire as well, and you can hire a cage from them. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> um, yeah, um, they, I think they do a show every now and again. I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, where it's all all in a cage. But no, the shows aren't always in a oh, cage. Okay. Just because from, they, from anything no, I've seen, do, I'm they, like, it's like it almost to me. The little things I'd saw was like, it's just like lockdown, but like a company of just constant lockdown matches. No, no, that's fine. No. No, it's just the one, I think, um, or just one event that's in a cage. Right, they right. mainly do they mainly do family shows, but they used to do over eighteen stuff, and that's where that's where I used to work. I used to like MC and host the over eighteen shows that they did um, yeah. at the Engine Shed in Lincoln. Oh and yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard of that. I don't know yeah. why. I've probably been there to a gig for fucking. Ooh. Probably seen the fall there like fucking ten years ago, maybe more than that at this point now. To be yeah. honest. I think it's where they do. Um, oh god, I keep hitting these headphones. I think it's where they do uh, one PW shows there now. Oh um, yeah, yeah, because they're they're yeah. back and doing stuff. <laughs> not, yeah. not 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 yeah, for, <laughs> not, not, for, not for not for me personally. But I mean, I, I do I do appreciate there is a lot of people that I like, like Lizzie Evil won their women's title, things like that. But I do think yeah. a, a lot of that's. I think it was. I mean, I'm nobody to judge anything, but like I think it was a lot of the stuff that was. Um, what the fuck were they called? When the people that did What Culture ran their own company, what the fuck was that called in England? Uh, Defiant, um, Defi- Defi- was it? Defi- Defiant, something like that. But it was like a lot of their oh, shows, well. like they brought in lots and lots of names, like they'd fly in like Kurt Angle and Mysterio oh, and all this stuff. Yeah, that, that was uh, What Culture Pro Wrestling. Yeah, uh, yeah, WCPW, yeah. like things like that. As, as long as they're making money, it's fine. But I think that like flying like all these guys in and everything, um, I think it must cost a fucking fortune. For the people that oh, they're yeah. getting, so it's like as long as they're making money, fair enough. But it's just, I don't know. It's I think it, as long as you're putting over the young guys, which they seem to be doing at One PW, like fair enough. Yeah, I mean they get thousands and thousands of people at the shows. So yeah, definitely. You know, I mean they, they they were obviously going going years and years ago, and that was always what they used to do back in the day. They'd always have like Rob Van Dam and crazy people. I mean he was on the, the first show back as well, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, again, that just goes to show that there's more wrestling out there to go and watch it so if you much. want to watch it there's so yeah. there's, as I, I said that there's like a week before I think it was just when you guys went on IWTV with the last show and it was like XPW was just coming up and then this is Mania weekend was just and it, there was like two weeks where there was no wrestling and it was great yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> for, for me, because it was like there was so much of that Mania weekend, because like Mania Live, NXT, all the deathmatch stuff, LA, New Jersey, there was so much shit, and it was nice to have like a little break, even just for a week. But yeah, but you can't. To be honest, yeah. in, in this in the age of like fucking social media and everything, you can't really take a break, or else you you know what I mean. Well, many a week, and we were running around like twats because we had a show. So, I, I was know, meant we, to. Oh, that's the thing was everybody was like, "You coming to Kumite? You coming to Kumite?" And I was mm. like, "Potentially, yeah." But like by the time I'd went to bed on Sunday morning, it was about half past seven, and I was like, yeah. "There is no way in hell I'm going to make it down to fucking like I was shaking after the first night of Mania and that, and I, I was in a bad way, so I was there was no way I was going down." But the sh- the show was amazing anyway, so hopefully <coughs> I'm me, very very tempted to come down to the next one because I want to see that two hundred light tubes match more than anything. I think that yeah, two hundred light tubes and bare boards, bare boards uh, as well. That'd be awesome. Yeah, a lovely a lovely combo, <laughs> and that yeah again that's going to be the last time those guys are doing a death match uh, in this country. So again, that's that's a big thing. Definitely. So it's, uh, yeah, that's I, going to be mental. It's I do want to. Mental. I do want to. I do want. I do want and hope Darko to win that belt. Um, I think th- that was in part of my head. I was like uh, at the last show when it was like Lewis against Joe. I was like, wait, why is Darko not got a title? And then I was like, oh wait, he's in America. And then I was like, oh yeah, yeah. clicked. I was like, why? But then because they'd set that up at the f- end of last year's season. I think it was sort of Joe and Darko sort of faced off. There was like a tag match. I think it was Gonzalez. Yes, and they, they, yeah, yeah. They, it was the uh, tornado tag, and mm. the um, yeah, Darko got the pin on Joe, yeah. but it wasn't a title match. So it's set ooh. up and it's building and building and building. Yeah, exactly. I like that. But I hope I hope Darko wins. Uh, not take yeah. anything away from Joe, but like I just think Darko deserves his sort of. I hate when people say flowers, but I do think Darko deserves his yeah. like flowers because he's like I think he's he's very very good. And he's not really gotten the shot in a lot of other places that he deserves. You know what I mean? That's why you you yeah, guys you guys do very very well with him. I think. Yeah, well, that's it. I mean, that's what, like I said before, with um, that's why we wanted to put him in there with Alex Cologne. And like I was saying earlier yeah. on about having people like Joe to up people. Yeah. Joe is now now one of those sort of people that we would bring over. Do you know what I mean? So there's no point putting Joe against somebody like Alex Cologne because you can see that everywhere. So yeah, exactly. um, and I don't think they they'd had a match before either. So you know you got to mix it up. You can, it can't all be Joe. <laughs> We've got other people in there. So and this is it. It's got you got to spread everything out. Yep, definitely. So yeah, you'll have to wait and see though, mate. It's. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm see. very very tempted to come down. I'm very very tempted to come down to that show. Yeah. Very very ke- tempted to come down to Derby. I'll definitely be at the July show though. Um, and then I believe there is a death match tournament in. Birmingham for TNT. Yeah, I think that's the same weekend. Is it I'm the not, same weekend, sure. is it? I'm not sure. Fucking I'm hell. not sure. It might be the weekend before. Maybe this is what I'm saying. Before. We're all sort of like, is one it, weekend is in, in Rise, the, the then the it's Kumite, oh, then it's enough. TNT. Uh, I mean, I've, yeah. I'll, I'd probably rather come and see you guys anyway, because I don't... I mean, The TNT one does look interesting. I was at DOA, but I've kind of like... The, the one thing that me and my missus end up doing every year for some reason now is every year we go to DOA together for some reason. She hates Deathmatch. So right. I don't know, but it's sort of been, become a thing. I only ever really go to DOA, but I'll I'll see what happens with that. What was going to say? I think that I think that might be a weekend when it's it's um, TNT on the Friday, North on the Saturday, then us on the Sunday. I believe. Ah, okay, I okay. Think in July, yeah. So again, it's just up, down, packed. down. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather come to Derby to be honest, but that's fine. Yeah. What was I going to say? Have, have you been having any struggle with the light tube hunting? Or has everything been all right thus far? Uh, no, we had loads left over from last year. Oh, um, from, from having like a few cancelled shows last year, we ended up... I mean, this room, we couldn't get in at all. Um, okay, it was just good. rammed to the gills full of light tubes. Like, that's like a thousand light tubes <laughs> in here. Um, so we used a lot at the last show. Um, we've got enough for the... Yeah, we've got we've got enough for the next one, but then we're picking up a load more. So we're we're fine at the minute. Um, That's fine. Yeah. Just because there's obviously been all that news that people are going to stop making the T twelves, uh, T T eights, and things. Yeah, which also means that people are throwing away fucking thousands of the cunts. So like, I mean, you'd be hard. Yeah. So, my, so you'd be hard pushed to sort of, you know. I mean, it's, it's we, we. No, carry on, sorry, man. After you. 
um, the, the, all the stuff that we use is basically recycled. Obviously, it's cleaned and disinfected and yeah. bleached and everything like that before we use it. But so yeah, it's um, we've got a few handy people that we know, like a, a guy that we know that works in a crisp factory that, that just did all their lights. So like we had all of their light tubes come. And we'll have them. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I got I got yeah. two hundred and twenty from a motorbike garage that just closed down, so they, they're all they're well, all they're all sitting in my attic just now. But the only thing yeah. is, I have I was having a look just in curiosity, and um, I can't remember if I was speaking to somebody about this. It might have been Fletch. Can't remember. Fletch was in my hotel room that Sunday when I was blittered. Walton Thorn, we were talking yeah, about yeah. something. <laughs> I, was, I was fucking hammered. I, I, I've spoke to Fletch since then. But I was like, I can't remember a single thing I said to you. But I've I've managed to find out. I don't know how much it would cost shipping. You can get three thousand T eight light tubes from China for about eight hundred quid. Right. And you can get about a thousand T twelve light tubes from China for about eight hundred quid. That bear in mind you'd have to get all the cost to shipping and everything. But to be fair, for yeah. three thousand light tubes, that's not that expensive. No. In the, in the no. grand scheme of things. I mean, yeah, you probably. Uh... I mean, China will probably still keep making them for. Oh yeah, a exactly. Years they don't give a people. flying fuck. It's China. <laughs> so, it's... so yeah. I mean, like I say, we 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 tend to recycle all of that stuff. So we we're, yeah. we're all right. What I need this this uh, before the end of this year is some kind of workshop because this room is tiny. I've got three cats and I've got a <laughs> dog. And I can't do anything with glass anywhere in the house other than this room because because I've got three cats and a dog. I did just, that. I, I made. Just smash everything to bits. I, I just I got like a I made a fucking a Tokyo Tower. I just yeah. out, of, out of just in my own time I just built one and just I was like how easy is it to build a Tokyo Tower? So I built one myself. It took about twenty five minutes and like even I just smashed one light tube on my table. And it took me about fucking half an hour to try and get all the glass while Hoover and everything off the floor. That's just one tube. Yeah, so, it's a nightmare. I mean, this this I mean, this house is it's it's, it's all right now, <laughs> but um, we'll see what it's like by the end of the summer. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. glass everywhere all the time <laughs> uh, when when the shows on. But no, like just constantly finding little. I don't know if you saw the the uh, the No Ring show, the Cold November Pain show. We yeah. did. There was a spot in that where Devlin like hit Joe with a chair with wax all over it. Um, and we were finding chunks of red wax for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes everywhere, doesn't everywhere. it? Fucking hell. Yeah, absolutely everywhere. But yeah, and the same with the light tubes. Um, like I'm, at the minute, I'm storing them in a shed outside. And then the, a few weeks ago, when I was getting everything ready to 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 clean to take to the Kumite, it was like chucking it down with rain. And it was just awful. But then, <laughs> like, I I dropped them. I brought. I broke a. Um, a light tube into a load of grass and it took me like oh, an God. hour to clean the cunt up well, obviously that's... again because I've got dogs and cats and so yeah. I can't have dark tubes all over oh shit no no yeah to Sorry. I totally get what you mean I mean I've got ones just yeah. beside my PC that I broke that I've just kind of kept there I'm like I, just in case <laughs> yeah. that, I mean, that one of them's kind of fucked but why not but then that's the thing is today before I even spoke to you earlier on I went and picked up two two meter high shower doors shower glass pane doors I mean, they're, right. eight, they're eight millimetres thick, but they cost me 50 quid and they're for, two, for two of them. Uh, so I'm gonna, at some point I'll be able to use them for some, but they're fucking huge. Um, but like, yeah. I was looking, the guy said, he, you think, like, if you're looking at trying to get panes of glass made, because I looked into that before, for like a normal mm. size sheet they get in America, for every single company in America seems to have them, you're looking at 200, 250 quid for a pane of glass. Yeah, and you're yeah like, that's so, it. It's... Yeah, it's crazy. Or again, if you know someone who's just uh, taking their shower down, yeah, just, that's fine. Just, just steal that. it from their houses. There's <laughs> out out the back of my house. There's a fucking like there's a table that's like sits at the back mm. of this person's garden that's been there for about two years and they've never used it. That's got a glass top, and I might I genuinely might go out one night and just take it and just bring it into my house because they never use it. They would never know. But as long as yeah, it's the well, right, as long as it's the right kind of glass. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, there's also a corner of our garden which is covered in shower glass because we shattered. <laughs> we shattered one when we were trying to when we were trying to clean it. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's not it's not That's easy. It. It's not this the easiest thing. This is why I need thing. a workshop. Yeah, exactly, definitely, man, definitely. What was I going to say? I, I've let you mentioned earlier on about tournaments. Do you think you will do one this year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely fucking job, Lee. Um. Oh, you there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Um. 
Yeah, tournaments. Um, I'm not sure if we will this year. It's something that we will do at some point. Definitely, definitely. Um, but I think at the at the moment, it's it's a matter of um, like building up the characters and like the the new people that we've got in there, creating the actual the universe. If you yeah, like, I get you. Um, I get you. For, you know, before you get start doing the tournament, I want people to, because again, it's still wrestling, so people have got to care about it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, but good. we have got some plans for, for some stuff. So uh, the minute you're doing a tournament, yeah. I'll be down hundred percent for that. I'll, I'll never yeah. ever not go to a death match tournament. Yeah. Try try my best anyway. Come down to it. <laughs> but what else was I going to say? But yeah, um, what was I gonna, have you got anything? Um, you were saying that you were going to talk to me about the the format maybe being slightly different for this show as well to the last show, or uh, just in general. Um, I mean, it's just just in general. Like I say, it's just having the like like you were saying about the build up. It it starts as normal wrestling, if you like, and then yeah. it, it slowly staggers up. Um, and it's just the difference is we just like I say, introducing characters and uh, more more sort of um, something to build at. <laughs> when you when you're pissed in a beer garden, really. <laughs> yeah, so, definitely. Um, like, because people like Jason Joshua, everyone loves him, but they hate him. But he's brilliant at being a cunt. That's it. And like Roughneck, he's, he's, he's amazing. He was one of the guys I saw who was like a standout for me. That show I was at uh, last July, and I thought he was fucking excellent. Pissing myself laughing. Yeah. I mean, I don't yeah, know if he's that's hilarious. There's... Yeah, he's great. He's great. He's great. <laughs> are, are, you, are you gonna have them? Um, are you gonna have Mark with him this time, or is it just gonna be Roughneck on his own? Uh, woo, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> oh, you're such a see. you're such a tease. You're such a tease. But yeah. that was one thing. I don't know if I'm going to take any credit for this because you'd probably already fucking booked him ages and ages in advance. But I remember mentioning to somebody in committee about Gary J, and then lo and behold, Gary J is now going to be wrestling Alton Thorne, and I feel sorry for their chests. But you guys have probably already <laughs> you guys have probably already thought about that ages and ages ago. But I was like, hell yeah, because he was doing a UK tour. Well, he is doing a UK. To her now, uh, I think he's on his. his pro- I think he's on his way, or he's, 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 here, he's yeah. here soon. I think he's wrestling this weekend coming. Uh, but yeah, he's here for a few weeks. Um, um, excuse me. He's also at North the same weekend. He's, he's with us and stuff like yeah. that. So he's yeah, he's all really he's good. Be all over the place. He's really um, good. Yeah, Gary J. I mean, it's a funny thing because loads of people say, "Oh, you're gonna get, book book whoever," and it's it's we don't really have the means we, we're not <laughs> we don't have a lot of money so so you know it's not as easy as that sometimes so um it, gary J is one of those people when me and fletch started watching icw no holds barred when they first started doing the, the shows with the chains yeah um and then gary was on that and we just thought he was amazing we were calling the slap wizard because he just like chopping Heads the shit out of everyone something... He was in a match against, or he's in a couple of matches with a guy, I can't remember his name, but they're like in the pit fighter matches or whatever. And like, Yeah, he did the pit fighter first. And you're yeah. like, Jesus Christ. And he comes out to Wolf Mother, and you're like, yeah, he's he's very, very good. And um, him against Thorne, that's a match I never thought I was going to see. I'm very happy that's like, going to happen. Um, again, yeah, you've yeah. got to mix it up, mate. You've got to mix oh, it up. Oh, God. But yeah, I, I feel sorry. I, met, I did message Thorne that, and I said, I feel sorry for your chest. Already, loads of people, loads of people have said that to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Gary, I mean, he's he's just one of those people that we've liked. Um, he, he's been around for years. I, I vaguely remember him from like Shakara and stuff like that. Mm. But like in the past, sort of, you know, since since we've been we're enjoying deathmatch wrestling again, he's he's sort of been there. And the fact that he isn't that, this is what I was saying. The fact that he he isn't a deathmatch wrestler that's why he stands out on those shows because he does something different to everybody else um and then that's why we're gonna have him fight Alton (laughs) Thorne that'll be good (laughs) because it's a bit different um, and it's gonna be a a shoot fight brother so you know so yeah they're gonna just kick the shit out of each other it's gonna be amazing which will be fun which I'm looking forward to for that but what was I gonna say for um so yeah for that show the next one you're making me want to come down more and more the more and more the more I'm talking about it. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm trying to think. Have you got anything left to announce for that? Is there one more left? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think that's everything announced for that one, yeah. Yeah, there's seven, seven matches. Seven matches, that's not too bad. Yeah, because I always think that that was the thing. Obviously, XPW did that thing and it was a tournament. But I do feel that if you're going to do a show, any more than seven or eight is too much. 
Oh, eight is a nightmare. <laughs> Um, yeah. Seven is a push, to be honest. Yeah, um, sex, but it's just um, how, how we've managed to do it. It's, it. You can fit seven in. I love a, a six card, six six match card. Sorry, uh, when, two, I, when I used to be hours. working elsewhere, yep. and I turned up and they gave me this. They gave me the run sheet, and it just had two sets of three and a raffle in the middle. It's like fucking perfect winner. I'll be home by eleven o'clock. <laughs> eating cheeseburgers. Well, that's that's the thing is, I mean, I know I, I know I criticised I still being old bard about the light tubes and doors thing, but a lot of their shows like they don't have intermissions and they run like two hours ish, and it's fine. Yeah. You, you don't yeah, need things. To, you don't need things to run. You don't need every single match for no reason. That's the thing I've always yeah. said about GCW. You don't need matches between no like people that don't have any rivalries to work twenty five minutes for no reason. It's just who cares. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, I mean, GCW. They have fucking loads. They have like ten, eleven matches on the shows. That I've ten, eleven matches. Recently. Ten, eleven shows a week. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing. There's too much. I mean, I yeah. did have Fight Plus because it did get too expensive trying to watch GCW. Because, like you say, they do like forty. They do like if they do a weekend of shows, they do two shows on the Saturday and two shows on and the Sunday. Just... So it's just like. I watched that. one Lucas, match from uh, the. I watched one match from the collective, and it was Joy Janela against Kota Bushi, and that was it. Um, oh. Because, but then I was, like exactly what you're saying. Because now they're on Fight Plus, um, it's so much handier because I don't have to watch anything. <laughs> In fairness, like I can, yeah, I can watch. Yeah, can... I'll go and watch. Like I watched there was matches. Like, it was like John Wayne Murdoch and Reed Bentley were against Siglope and Medio Extremo and shit like that. But it means I yeah. don't actually have to fork out money to watch shows that otherwise I would never give a fuck about. Because they're all just there for next to nothing, which is handy. Exactly, like I'm saying, wrestling's fucking everywhere, mate. You can't <laughs> get away from it. It's scary. We spoke scary. about this. I have managed to... Because me and my missus have managed to drive to the movies now. And I don't. you've probably oh, seen yeah. all this shite as well. Against my will, most of the time, we've seen like a film like every couple of days in the, like, the last couple of months. And most That's of them have been great. shite, though. <laughs> I mean, they've not been shite, but I've just been like, I did go and see. I don't know if like this would be a movie that you'd watch. It was shit. The Pope's Exorcist. Um, I know, but I found it hilarious that Russell Crowe sponsored the uh, <laughs> Hell in a Cell match at WrestleMania. Did he? That's, uh, well, no, it was just like brought to you by the the Pope's Oh Exorcist, right, was it? it? Oh just, God, I didn't even yeah, remember the that. Of the match was done by Russell Crowe, and it was like sponsored oh. by Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is he's the um, best yeah, part of that got... movie. He's the best part of that movie, but it's been the first film I've went to in years where it's been like open and night, and I, me and my girlfriend were the only people that were there. Oh really? Yeah, because is it was is it like a midnight showing or no? It's just like fucking seven o'clock, like just after tea time. The day it came out and there's no one there. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> but maybe it was that's like... why he was sponsoring the Hell in Well, I mean, I wish that I don't even remember that. I must have been having a beer or something. I can't remember that. That was pretty good. But yeah, we saw. Yeah. I assume you've seen the new Mario movie. No, no, I haven't. I haven't been to the cinema in a while, but um, oh, I Mario. need to because there's a few things out. I want to. I, I want to see the new Evil Dead film. I'm going to see that, um, I think, tomorrow night. I've been told oh, it's very cool. good. I've been told it's very good. Yeah, yeah. Every, everyone said it's great. Um, I mean, I like the last one as well. The the remake, sequel, whatever it is. Yeah. I like it because it was all, it was brutal. The Because phys- it was all physical effects, practical effects. Yeah. And it was just brutal. And I like, I like shit like that. People yeah. get shot with nail guns and shit. <laughs> exactly. bring, it, bring it on. It's more, it's um, more fun. So, yeah, um... I'm looking forward to seeing that. It looks like a little bit like Demons Two to me, which because that sort of takes place in a block of flats. The, so if it's anything trailers, like that, then it'll be good. The trailer's terrible. It looks like the tra- the trailer looks like it's like a fucking Insidious movie or something, where she's like yeah, crawling well, up the walls, and I'm like, oh no. But then I've, people that like have said it's good. I'm like, oh okay, it's probably just a trailer, but ugh. yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. I mean. Like I said, I went to see. Well, Fletch came with me as well, but we went to see Fast and Furious Nine. Like, oh Fast god, there's Fast and Furious. I was going to say that to you. Fast and Furious Ten's coming out in June. I can't wait. That's one of the ones that's on the list, mate. But, um, but yeah, there's um, John Wick Four as well. I've not seen that yet. Um, I've not seen any of it tonight. Not You've not seen it? Oh, John Wick's fucking amazing. I did absolutely amazing. By accident, see about five minutes of one of them. When yeah. me and my missus had went to go and see some pile of shite that she didn't want to go and see, some terrible horror movie. 
And I was that drunk mm. that I walked into the wrong cinema and sat down beside a different girl that wasn't my girlfriend and sat down and watched about five minutes of John Wick and turned around and thought, fucking hell, I'm in the wrong thing. And I had to walk all the way down and go back <laughs> to the cinema. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm being told they're very, very good and I'd love them. Oh, they're them. amazing. I mean, they're, they're just like the perfect action films. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good stuff about them. I watch them to death. Mm. Um, but the, yeah, they get better as they go on as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And um, what else was there? I'm not, yeah, I'm not really interested in the Mario film. No, I it's, that when it's, it's shite. When it's, it's, when shite, it's all but it's, it's like, it's made like nearly like a billion dollars or whatever because it's Super Mario. Yeah, of course it has. Yeah, it will do. Will Jack do. Black's quite like, good, isn't it? I like him. Well, it's going to be mainly sort of forty-year-old people going to see it. I imagine forty-year-old, <laughs> yeah, forty-year-old yeah, 40 losers and like children, probably that will go and see yeah, it. That, yeah, that'll be the, yeah. the the selling force for it. And then obviously, um, I, I saw Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, you, is it, how was that? I enjoyed it. I thought it was better than Mario. I did. I don't, I've really? never, I've never been a I, I used to be into fucking Warhammer because I was a nerd when I was younger. But I've never ever been into, yeah, like, yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. But I thought that movie was pretty fun. For the fun oh, cool. Well, you know, it is what it is, I imagine. You know, it's a kid's film. It'll be pretty fun. It was pretty shit, but, um, but I quite liked it. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the new uh, Flash film with all the Batman in it. Is the Flash guy not meant to be some sort of, like, mad, like... I think he's a bit of a wrong gun, yeah. <laughs> That's, but, uh, that's the, that's the best Mike, terminology. Yes, Michael, yeah, Michael yeah. Keaton's in Batman. That's the only thing I said about it. I was like, oh, Michael Keaton's in it. I want to go and see that now, but I don't really care about the yeah. Flash. It's, I mean, it's got Batfleck in it as well. And oh, it's yeah. got, apparently, it's got George Clooney in it as Batman as well. Oh, no. Which not... I took great joy in telling uh, Alex Cologne the other day because. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still good friends with Alex, and uh, when yeah. when we when he's here, we just fuck it, we just watch movies, movies, movies. And him and Fletch had an argument about who was the best Batman one night, and Fletch Ma- was Michael Keaton that, that it was George Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not it, George. The thing is, is George Clooney's a fine Bruce Wayne, but he's not he's a good a Batman. Terrible Batman. Yeah. He doesn't even put on a Batman voice. He's just like, all right, lads. <laughs> Let's this out. Who was not the other like guy? Val, Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, yeah, but he's not in very good shape, so I can't imagine he's going to be in it. No. In the new one. Yeah, he kind of looks um, like. Saying that, know. though, it's got Christopher Reeve in it, and he's dead. Is it? <laughs> Is he in it? <laughs> Apparently so. I, see, Apparently I was so. I was fine that there's a, there's a very good movie, which I can't fucking remember the name of, but uh, there's a film where, like, it's about a woman who's basically an actress, and, like, it's all about her giving like her likeness to this company to use her after she's dead. I can't remember what it's, but it's it's all about oh. like you know they, they did it in like Star Wars and everything. They bring back oh. all these old actors and they. But I think that's fucking disgusting. Imagine that. Yeah, it's it's weird. It is weird. <laughs> Don't, it's uh, very it's very um, Philip K. Dick. It's 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 not like the sort of books that I read. I wouldn't like I wouldn't like people to do that to me. If I was no. dead, you know. <laughs> I mean, it started. It, it started with Tupac, and then it just it snowballed. Tupac. Before you know it, you had a fucking. Oh yeah, he was a hologram, wasn't he? I forgot. About yeah, that. and then you had Dio at one point. Did you see the Dio hologram? No. What the fuck? Is that? It's stupid. It's really <laughs> stupid. Yeah, and like yeah, Peter Cushing in, in Star Wars yeah. after being dead for a number of years. Dead for was... a long, long time. <laughs> like yeah. Thirty, thirty. <laughs> I mean, it was cool to see him because I, I, I'm a big fucking mark for my Hammer horror movies and like oh, things yeah, like that. Yeah. So, but yeah, but I mean, aside from shit like that, I don't know. I've I've watched some of it pish in the last little while at the cinema, and it's all been all of it's been crap. All of it's well, been terrible. I've, I've been doing a similar similar sort of thing. I've been sort of chipping away at like films and books, and I've been doing the same thing, but just with like TV, but movies on TV. So I watched. Oh, it's horror film wise. What did I watch? I watched Get Out last week. If it's you've seen okay. That. It's it's yeah. the, the stirring of the tea and spoilers. Yeah. If no one's seen it, they're putting white people's brains in black people, basically. Yeah, but I didn't know anything about it, so right. I enjoyed it. Oh, to, I be, saw, to be fair, no, if, you, if you've never seen it before, like you'd probably really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And, and I watched um, a film called Come Play. Have you seen that? Which is about an autistic kid that's got 
like a monster that comes yes, out of his ta- like, tablet. He can't speak and he gets bullied by these other kids and he throws... Yeah. I thought it was a bit yeah. nasty. Yeah. yeah, that was a bit <laughs> naff. Um, and then I saw Bullet Train. Have you seen Bullet Train yet? Oh, it's, it's like got Brad Pitt in it. Yeah, yeah. It's actually it good. I kind of looked at it and I thought... Yeah, it's all very, <laughs> like, purple. And, I, I, I was going to say that. You might, you might like it for all the neon and everything. Yeah, exactly. That, I think that's pretty much why I like John Wick, because everything's sort uh, of... It's in, like, Japan and shit. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Have, have you seen the new, the new trailer one. for Kong against Godzilla? I did, yeah. I saw, like, the little teaser trailer sort of thing. I is there another monkey? I'm not... Yeah, I think it is. I think it's Kong and God, uh, Godzilla versus another giant monkey. Is there always... A, you're, you're, you're more up on your Godzilla and whatnot than me. Is there another kaiju, monkey? Kaiju films, do you mean, Andy? Yes, that's sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> large, large kaiju monkey Godzilla movies. Is there not? Is there another monkey? Um. Well, in the new ones, that like in Skull Island and stuff, it says that there was loads of them, but he's like the only one left. So yeah, maybe. And then in the last one, they went into the middle of the earth. So yeah. why not? I, so I, there, I, there I, might I be one that. knocking about. But he's gonna have to be an evil monkey, though. Yeah, I imagine so. I mean, there is like a, there's an old um, '60s one with Mecha Godzilla mm. uh, versus sorry Mecha King Kong versus Ooh. King Kong. See, that would be yeah. cool if they had Mecha King Kong and Mecha Godzilla against King Kong and Godzilla, but maybe yeah, that's just I mean, too far at this point. Yeah, appa- apparently they're doing a new Japanese one as well this year, and they're doing um, a new Gamera film as well, which is oh. Gamera is pretty cool. God. Is it's that... a giant turtle. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I've seen that before. Vaguely. They're all on YouTube, but but buy them on Blu-ray, obviously. But you can watch them <laughs> for free. On I've YouTube. only got about two Blu-rays in my entire house, and they're both fucking horrible, disgusting horror movies that no one should ever watch. Um, what are they? Uh, Salo, which is a movie. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I know, I know. I've got Salo, and I've also got um, fucking what else? The other one. It's um. Oh, I think it's um, Cannibal Holocaust as well. Oh, right. That's, that's, so, yeah, that's... Have you, have you, have you seen Salo? That's a nice, fun, yeah, chirpy yeah. movie. Um, <laughs> yeah, when I was at film school, we had to look at that. High-quality high yeah, entertainment, that movie. It's a hard... It's a hard film to watch. And the book, it's like, the book is vile. Yeah, like, yeah. Because like, half of the shit isn't in the film. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's one yeah. of these things where you watch it and you think, I've seen that now, and then you go on about your day. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that's just, I think, shock for the sake of shock value. It's, it's, not, it's not very good, you know what I mean? No, of course it's, it's not. It's not meant to be good. It's, it's, it's an art movie. It's never meant to be good. There's, there, yeah. there, I think I, I enjoy it for what it is because I think it's one of these things where it's just disgust for the sake of disgust, basically. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, yeah, it is. <laughs> no, it's not for me. I cool. like, yeah, I like horror films. I don't like horrible films. No, no, I, yeah, I think I think there is a big distinction. Yeah, as it's just sort of gratuitous violence and torture for the sake yeah, of it. Yeah. If anybody uh, wants to watch Salo, by the way, I highly recommend anybody go out their way and watch that. Maybe don't watch it. <laughs> don't don't ever watch it with like you know, if your missus ever says, "What should we watch tonight?" But we're having no. our dinner. It's also a bit too no. long for that as well, but. Yeah, it's very yeah. No, I don't. No. I don't know. I don't know why we got into the subject of that. No, but no, we went from Godzilla to that. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Godzilla. Obviously, I fucking love all that. Anything like that. Um, but but yeah, I've been doing the same sort of thing, trying to watch a new film sort of every week. And, it's um, it's mind numbingly. Same... Don't. Because <laughs> it's well, um, <laughs> well, I've also been re- like, oh, excuse me, mm. pardon me. Um, I read a lot, but I haven't read anything in ages until recently as well. So um, basically, I have to, with how my brain works, I have to work everything off like a whiteboard. So it's like, watch a film, read a book, go to bed. That's that's a good way to go. That's a good way to go. I do that on my phone. I just write like a little list of notes and then tick them off as I go. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I've been trying to like read more books and watch more movies. I've not read fucking anything for ages. The last book I read was... Exorcist 3's book Legion, which I got for two quid at the charity shop, which is good. Yeah. But yeah. 
I don't know. I just I I can never ever find it. Oh yeah, and I read Peter Falk's autobiography, but that's because my mark. <laughs> that's because I'm a mark for Colombo. But like, yeah, yeah, you do. You love Colombo. I love I love Colombo. I, I want to try and there needs to be some sort of Colombo esque death match or something. I don't know. <laughs> there's enough names. There's enough things that have happened in Colombo that you could do something. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, somebody well, that's, you've got your own. You, you're doing your own project, mate. <laughs> well, that's you, true. That's true. That, I'll see that di, we... that diadismal failure where people just look at me and think, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Mate, say? that's happened. It happens with us because uh, I don't know if you saw in the Facebook groups uh, last week we were advertising the show, and I I used a picture of uh, Voodoo Queen being strangled by. Tom I didn't see that. Yeah, and then I saw some sort of. I hate to use the word unintelligent. But Americans, sort yeah. of, and you're like, first of all, like, you watch, first of all, a lot of you watch XPW. Second of all, it's just a graphic, like, it's clearly, yeah. like, I, I don't know, I don't understand that. Well, the thing is that the quote that Fletch wrote was like, uh, 2001, no one died, 2002, yeah. no one died, 2003, someone died. It's a quote from a 90s comedy. It's, 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 it's from the day to day, written by uh, Chris Morris. Oh, um, yes, I do, I did yeah, used to watch. It's from the Leisure Centre. What was, um, did, did he used to do it's the, it's Brass the character Eye? that Steve Coogan plays. Was that Brass Eye he did as well? Yeah, 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 it's from that. So then I responded to it by saying, people don't seem to understand that. And then you put a picture of uh, Partridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then the, I said, um, just to reassure you, the Voodoo Queen isn't dead, which is also a line from an Alan Partridge episode. So I doubled down. <laughs> I doubled down on our, our niche references. Oh, I mean, that's uh, so. always good. It's always good to throw Partridge in there as well. I didn't even remember that. The thing is, is the last season they did of that, which was, I can't even fucking remember the name of the season. There was one Alan where... Partridge, he, what they... Yeah, the, the Alan... It was, it was him, it's where he's, he's back on TV. Oh, he's, um... This Time or something this like that. This Time without it's, what it's called, yeah. It's fucking... To me... It's funnier than the older stuff because it's just more current and new. There's one where yeah. he does a fucking fashion show and he's being all camp and everything and it's fucking hysterical. It's like laughing yeah. my head off. Like, Partridge yeah. is always good. I mean, Alan Partridge, I love Alan Partridge. I say, and it's like, loads of, our commentary, the majority of the stuff I say is like Alan Partridge related. It's where I get a lot of the stuff from. Mm. Um, but Americans don't get it. No. Don't get Alan Partridge at all. I've I've recommended it to a couple of people, a couple of mates, and they're like, "What the fuck is this? This guy's an idiot." And it's like, yeah, yeah but that's, the, that's that's the, the <laughs> that's, that's the joke. For, for me, like I would say, uh, obviously for UK stuff, I do like there would always be Partridge, the thick of it, bottom, um, <laughs> and uh, a very obscure one that you, you've probably seen now. A lot of people have probably seen it uh, called Ideal, where Johnny Vegas played a drug yeah, dealer yeah. living in a flat. I lo I love those. Are like. And obviously yeah. Trailer Park Boys, but that's more, not American, but Canadian. But, yeah, I need to see the rewatch idea, and I love that. And his mate is a policeman called Phil Collins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, the, the guy... Yeah, the, that the, gets really weird. It starts as like a normal sitcom, and then it gets really fucking weird. There's a guy it? with like a gimp mask on living next door who's a priest. and Yeah. And it, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good, though. It's very, very good. But I mean, I, I gave that to one of my friends. I don't even think I speak to anymore. I gave him my entire seven disc fucking seven season collection of ideal never ever mm. get it back now probably costs a fortune to buy that now Arsenal. it must be somewhere I'll, I'll, I'll have to have a look for that later but yeah that was that's great yeah but Ameri um, but, american yeah. people wouldn't get that though no it's i mean i i remember it it's uh yeah i thought it was great it was when they first started doing like bbc3 when it first started but it was it? funny <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, it's really good. And they used to. There was also around the same time they had a show. It was it had, uh, Matt Berry in it. Snuffbox that used to be. Yes, on. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. And, and then um, like BBC Three kind of fell apart, and they had shit, and there was like they redid like two pints of lager, and with all different cast, and you're like, oh no, dearie me. Yeah. Then it, then it died a yeah. death. But yeah, but Americans aren't going to get Alan Partridge. I don't no, think. don't understand it at all. No. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did think that was funny that the people were sort of having a go at that thing, the voodoo. I mean, they may not having a go, but like, what the fuck's this and everything? I'm like, you watch wrestling? Yeah, yeah it's, it's that's what's hilarious. Irony, Andy. <laughs> Irony is is a uh, is a wonderful thing. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> this is not acceptable. I, 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 face, Facebook. I don't have Twitter. 
I mean, I don't have Twitter at all, but I think that Facebook and like Instagram, maybe slightly less, are cesspools of just just shit a lot of the time. Yeah, I mean, I don't bother. It, it's, Fletch does the Kumite Twitter, and he just sort of like tells me what I need to know, and I don't mm. really need to know any of it. So. No, yeah, no. <laughs> so that's that's the annoying just... thing is to have to sort of do anything, not just in wrestling, but in like comedy or movies or anything. You need to have social media. Yeah, yeah. To promote it, even if it's shit, even if you despise it, you kind of have to have it. Yeah, well, that's why we give it out. I do, I do the Instagram. I don't mind that; it's dead easy. It's just pick, click. There you go. Yeah. Gone, and I don't really have to look at it then. <laughs> that's um, a good, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, Twitter. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of Twitter. I don't. I don't see. It's just people arguing, and that's not for me. So I don't. I just don't bother. It's just a lot. I of just shite. don't bother. There's a lot of shite. Yeah. But I'm trying to think what else I was going to say, man. But yeah, but I mean, for the upcoming show, hopefully I'll be down for it. I'm very, very looking forward to it. I don't know, I'll probably not stay in the same place I stayed last time. I'm fucking yeah. right. got, got lost. <laughs> it was getting... miles away. It was, the thing is, is, it wasn't. It was like 10 minutes from the venue. I just got lost going home because I was fucked. <laughs> but I mean, Derby is a maze. Yeah, it is. To try and get to the train station and I lost my wallet and all that shit. But hopefully everything oh, will be fine. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was fine. Yeah. It was all good. But then that was one thing I would say as well was that would probably be, it seems, the last time we'd ever see Callum Butcher. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Since, since retired. Hung since, up the boots. He yeah. shaved his, cut his hair as well. I saw that. I was like, I saw a picture and I was like, that can't. I was like, well, hang on. What's he done? Yeah. He's cut his, a couple of his fucking dreadlocks off. But yeah, I mean, it was lovely because the night before I went to that Derby show, I went out with yourself and Callum. And um, Fletch and me went to, what's it called, Sudson Soda, I think. Yes, Sudson Soda is where we always are. <laughs> yeah, it was, which is a very, very nice... I mean, I was very, very drunk when I left, but like it was very nice to meet him and everything. Then the next day, yeah. he wrestled Clint, and he was nothing but lovely and everything. Gave me that belt that weighed like about 14 tonnes. Oh, and God, I, yeah. But he was I just couldn't believe that, and then he just basically was meant to do an American tour, and then he just retired. So it was nice to actually get to meet him at one of your shows. I will say that. Yeah, but. yeah, that's it, that's it. That's uh, why well, you always got to take pictures. Always got to take pictures. I didn't get a picture with them, though, because most of the time I don't get any pictures. Oh, <laughs> but I, do, I, no. took a, I took a picture of him, but I didn't get a picture of me and him. But yeah, you should always take yeah. pictures. But yeah. anyway, I'll, I'll let you go just now, man. But it's been a pleasure as always. And yeah, um, well. I'll put this up probably, I don't know what day is tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably Thursday. It's uh, Thursday. Thursday tomorrow. So I'll probably get. I'll do this tomorrow evening, and I'll get it up by tomorrow night, and then we'll yeah, cool. for for promotion for the upcoming show, which is called Death Wolf something uh, Death. What's it called? One last dance with death. One last dance with death. There we go. That's yeah, fine. that's what it says on the um, the exclusive posters that we're doing. I, I need to get those. one of them. I need to get me a, yeah. a poster because the other the last committee poster I've got. I don't know if you can see it up there behind me. Is oh, the Alex Cologne one, yeah. There, underneath one. my finger. Yeah. yeah, so it was the last one. I was, I was going to get one of those uh, Lou ones, but I completely forgot. You know the Lou and Joe one that um, Danny Douglas did? Yeah. They were fucking yeah. awesome looking as well. I forgot to get one of them, so... The Rocky Four ones. So was it from Rocky? They were, they were the great. thing is, right, I've got every single Rocky DVD in my house, and I've never seen a single... I'm like CM Punk. Well, I, well I've never seen Rocky until recently, um, and... Fletch, they're Fletch's favourite movie. Oh shit! Sorry, <laughs> attack, attack <laughs> that was like Fletch from the ether there. Yeah. Ether, uh, not watching Rocky. Um, yeah, um, Fletch, they're Fletch's favourite movies, and I've got the. Uh, sorry, yeah. just for the sake of my little Rocky story. Yeah, no, it's just... um, uh, but yeah, he. Um, I've got the movies, and I only started watching them recently because obviously I collect movies, so they've just been there. Um, and I've only watched the first three. Are they but, good? I mean, they. It's like they're all right. They're all right. It's just something I've never really watched. Um, no, the, me either. They're pretty gloomy. The first two are pretty gloomy, if I'm honest. Yeah. So, but um, the third one's got Hulk Hogan in it and Mr. T. Is so. that the third one? Was that was, 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 was one. he not was he not like in Rocky Three before he even joined the WWF? So Who, they, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was like he wasn't even in the WWF when they made Rocky Three. I'm pretty sure he was still in I'm the not WWE. Sure. Because he plays like he thund- might have been. Thunder Lips or something, doesn't he? 
That's it, yeah, Thunderlips. And he's, uh, he's I want a, to he's, say that. I mean, my, my knowledge might not be good from all the beer and whatnot, but like, I'm pretty sure he, he did that before he was in WWF. I think that's one of the reasons why Vince wanted him to be the guy type thing, maybe. I'm not sure. Thinking about it, think, when I think about it, I think he might have had the old WWF belt on. Oh, the, the, maybe. The, you know the one with the eagle on it? That's yeah. quite that, that one. Have you seen um, the new belt? I don't know. Yes, I've seen the new belt. Wait, it's a what did you horrendous, think? That, disgusting new? looking, horrible title. Some of my oh, friends were like, yeah. they were like, oh yeah, it's so great. I'm like, so it's basically an old WCW belt that you've glued a WWE logo onto. It looks fucking disgusting looking. Yeah, it does. I mean, who who would just glue stuff to a WCW <laughs> belt? <laughs> I never even thought of that. I never even, yeah, but the thing is, is you're not a multi billion dollar company, so you get away with it. No, yeah, it really does look, and then like the photos that I saw were really blurry until like later in the day, and it just—I was like, I couldn't work out because it's lions on the side of it, isn't it? But it just yeah. looked like blob. I didn't know what it was. It looked like one of the toy belts with a <laughs> fucking yeah. Apparently, it looks awful. they've only made it because the Saudi Arabians want a title tournament at the Night of the Champions, which is in Saudi Arabia. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I was all for getting a new belt anyway because I think the fact that they've got two belts and they're both exactly the same but a different colour is fucking stupid. Yeah. It's really stupid. It just doesn't look the same as like when, obviously, like Chris Jericho had both the belts and shit like that. It just, just doesn't look as good. I just in, wish in they it. would make new tag team titles because they're horrendously bad. Yeah, that's it. And again, they've just got two. <laughs> just get the, just get the old ones back, something. But yeah, but well, they'll probably get the old ones back and just put a whacking great oh, globe in the middle. I of saw it. that like, and I was like, but just one of my friends, he was like, he's like, yeah, he's like, I really like it. He's like, it's really nostalgic and new. I was like, what are you fucking talking about? Nah, I was like, uh, it's, it's yeah, it's it's neither new. Nor old, it's neither as it's not as good as either of them either. It's, and plus, it's not yeah, even it's, like what they should do. And what I said to somebody, I was like, I hope Roman wins that as well. <laughs> yeah, Fuck so them. Just the they should just, just win it, or just or just give it to Triple H, like they did in two thousand and three. Well, yeah, that's it. That's I mean, I heard that they were bringing back the big gold, and that's that's what it is. But they've just they've ruined it. I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not that big of a fan of the belt. I mean, it, it's like it's yeah. obviously like nostalgia-wise for WCW and everything, but I don't yeah, really. Yeah. It just kind of looks yeah. like. Oh you... shit! I've done it again. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's Fletch. It's Fletch, <laughs> Fletch trying to get you for the Rocky reference. I mean, maybe yeah, maybe is. I'll watch them. Maybe I'll watch them all by the time I come down to the next committee show. I probably won't though. Well, but... yeah, don't. I mean, if you've got stuff to do, I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, there is. There's like seven of them, eight of them, nine of them. Well, there's like... There's more, yeah, because there's like Rocky, it goes up to five, and then there's Rocky Balboa, and then there's Creed, Creed after that, uh, which is a continuation, and then there's like, I think there's three of them, so yeah, there's fucking loads of them. There's no, loads there's of not, them. There's not enough hours in the day, and essentially, I mean, the only good boxing movie I've ever seen, and then again, I've not seen Rocky, so I've not seen that many, is Million Dollar Baby, and that's a depressing movie if you've ever seen that. Well, I think some there's a the, sports movies are either really depressing or really euphoric. There's no grey area. Like, like it's the, either like, like the wrestler. It's either, yeah, it's either <laughs> the wrestler or Mighty Ducks. There's no. Yeah, yeah, true. I did, tr I did try and watch that the other night. Um, the new fucking what's it called? I forget the name. Space Jam movie. Oh, I've not watched the new one. I I got fifteen minutes in, and LeBron James and his kids were there, and his kid was like a whiz kid who'd invented a video game, and I was like, I can't watch this. I was like, it's making me cringe. <laughs> it was the the amount of like, the amount of money be, like being spent was just disgusting to me personally. Yeah, yeah. But fuck it anyway. But I'll let you go just now, and um, right. and I'll I'll sort this out and I'll edit it and have it up for tomorrow evening. Or or or, cool. er, or early Friday. I'm not too sure what I'm doing tomorrow, but then cool. and then hopefully I'll be down at the next one. And if not, I'll be down in July. Fabulous. No worries. Mate. It's been a pleasure as always. All right, mate. No I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon. No worries, man. Take it easy. Cheers. Bye. Ta -ta. Bye bye.